special trip today. We're going to head out to Ostinger to see the Silver Fur K9 Rescue and Retirement Center. So hop on board and let's go. So I am with Katie and Chris and we are at Silver Fur Rescue and Retirement home and this I've already gotten the tour it's absolutely amazing and I'm just I'm thrilled that you guys are letting us come out here today and, and kind of see this this is absolutely wonderful I've already learned um, so much just on the walk back here they found us a nice shady spot we're kind of hanging out here with the dogs already which is very cool and there's some really cute dogs here and so thank you for, for letting us come out here today nice having you. thank you so I guess my first question would be how, how did this come to be? Because this is just fabulous. Well, this was always a, a dream of ours. And, um, and really, it, it's Katie's fault. Um, <laughs> I live in Elyria, and you know, this, was, this is what I wanted to do. And she, she doesn't pause for anything. So when I said it, she immediately started looking for farms for us. Um, and obviously, there's a lot of paperwork involved to, to get all the licenses and things. And she was, she was on top of all of it. Been a year, so we got we started uh, July 24th last year. So, um, so what goes on here, I guess, from a day-to-day a, a -day basis? What's what's the goal of your organization? Are you just um, hanging out here at home, and when you get 500 dogs, you kind of think mm, maybe we've got too many? Is there is is there like other rescue organizations that you can adopt dogs? How does that all work? So. Um, well, our goal is is to help the senior community with dogs. They have a rough time in the shelters. They are one of the least to get picked. Uh, we don't like the idea that they would stay in a facility where they can come out here and breathe and run and enjoy. Uh, we do do adoptions. Um, Saturday and Sunday, the public is welcome to show between 1 and 4 p.m. to meet a dog, take them for a walk, see if this is something that would fit their family. If they need a private scheduling time, they can call us or text us during the week and we can make time for them. And that information will be in our contact information down on the bottom of the comments. We'll get that for you. But yes, the ultimate goal is to be there for the community, be there for the senior dogs, to have a place that they can, in you know, Ashtabula County, that they can come. And if they need to live their life out here, that won't be a problem. But if the community would like to adopt a forever dog, then they're welcome to come out here and see our selection. And so it is specifically then geared towards senior dogs because of their their inability a lot of times to get adopted. That's correct. It doesn't stop us. We do have Great Danes and King Shepherds and, and younger dogs that do come our way. We don't turn dogs down if we can help at that time. But we do like to focus on the senior community. And a lot of times senior dogs end up abandoned simply because their owner can no longer take care of them or you know has passed away it's not necessarily that they have like a behavior problem that they're right. you know eating the the grandbabies or you know right. tearing up the house some, it's, it's some some of the dogs do have issues um right. and this this is always a better place for them to go than a shelter um, because we do have the land and we have we have the facilities to actually take care of them let them play together and spend time with them um, but no, it's not all all the dogs' fault. Some of them, yes. I mean, it's it's just best for them to be here because of situations that they were in that just made them not fit um, family anymore. And the family follows us on Facebook, which is great because they end up saying it is a sad thing, but once they see daily the dog playing and loving and having a great time, they thank us for being here for them um, because it was a tough time and a decision that they had to make. And, and that's hard on everybody. You mentioned your adoption process, and I noticed when we came in, you said that this is your your visiting room. Right. So tell me about that because I think that's really cool, especially if if maybe you've been to some of the other um, organizations that are out there that you walk in and there's a lot of barking and there's a significant smell. Neither of those things were present here, and and I know that's hard for a lot of people. So tell me your kind of your process for that. Well, we, it's called the Welcome Center, um, and when you first arrive, we welcome you into the front area where at that time we'll introduce ourselves to you, um, ask you again which dog you'd like to see, and we'll bring the dog out to you. The whole purpose of 
this rescue is to keep the dogs calm in the atmosphere of the kennel and the barn situation where they are running freely. Um, so for your safety and for the dog's safety, we will bring the dog up front. You can then take the dog for a walk, uh, meet any other family members that you would like to bring with you, and then it's just a safe environment for everybody. And it's, it's very cozy. We, we'll get some video fit, footage of it here in a minute. Um, but it's it's kind of like sitting in a living room and hanging out and meeting a dog. Um, and here comes somebody to hang out now. It's best if you if you go into the rescue and they're all barking, they're all getting wound up, they're not going to see their personality as much as just a lot of anxious dogs you know, trying to get attention. So this way you can see them a little, a little more of who they are in a one-on-one -on -one setting instead of all the dogs give, give them a chance to show their true personality okay. rather than them the tough one that may have to show to their friends. <laughs> right, exactly. Now you've mentioned the the adoption room, which is kind of that beautiful home setting that you have set up. But once we kind of came past the doors, it was still kind of that way. Tell tell me about that. So the whole idea about the concept we have is we don't want the dogs to live just in kennels like they're in prison. We want them to have a home setting so they still have the mindset of being at home. So the barn has couches, big screen TVs, mattresses on the floor, so the dogs can actually live in a setting that's more like a home. We'll go out there, we'll watch TV with the dogs, they'll jump up on the couches with us and hang out like they're, like they're pets, not like they're inmates in a, in a kennel. So it just keeps them, keeps them familiar with the setting of being in a home instead of the stress of a kennel and then you know and then hopefully going to a home but but when you see them in a kennel they're all wound up they're scared they're anxious and they you know you might look at me like wow that dog's too much for me but you see them in a home setting they're laying on the floor rolling on their back playing with a toy and you think wow that dog's you know really well adjusted really cool and the best thing about senior dogs is they're already trained they don't want to chew on your shoes they don't want to chew your woodwork you know they've been through that phase in their life and now they're they're just really good companions they, they know how to ask to go to the bathroom yes they're, they're usually they're potty trained they know how to sit give paw we had one who when you went bang she would roll over on its back um so i mean they they're they don't need as much attention uh as a, as a puppy would and they're so grateful when they do have a family when they do have a and, and I will say that it does very much, um, with a daughter in college, the, the back room kind of did remind me of a dorm. You, you've got these nice little individual areas where, where they do have their own personal space, so to speak, if they needed it or right. wanted it. Right. Um, but then again, you got that nice common area too. It's, it's very cool. I really like it. It's neat. I guess becomes how how did this all happen? Is this just you guys out here every day working, and how is this funded? I mean, is this like basically you know your, your retirement fund as well as the retirement for the dog? How is this all happening? I guess they two are blended together. <laughs> um, I guess just like any corporation or nonprofit starting out, there's a lot of personal funds which we have put into it. Uh, the community has reached out with donations as we ask for them. Uh, they can reach us through PayPal, which is silverfurk9rescuegmail.com. Um, they can get us on GoFundMe. We have also there. Um, they can stop by our facility and they can drop off any donations that they feel that they have around the house, cleaning supplies, dog food, um, blankets, sheets, towels, towels um, even equipment as you see we just built all this so if the husband has some wire around nails tools he doesn't need um wood we take anything we have and we build it for the dogs to make them you know and make this a nicer facility but we are going to have to grow so finances are going to have to um, go up so with that we want the farm to be self-sustaining uh, so we've started a tree farm also this year 
for the dogs, mm. which 100% of the profit of the trees, once they are grown, will go to benefit the dogs here at Silver Fir. So in our back 10 acres back there, um, we have started to plant some Christmas trees. About 2,000 trees by hand this year because oh we, my made, God. we didn't addition, have any equipment. Yes. In addition to, to all this, yes. we planted 2,000 trees. Right. Oh my God. And every year we'll plant more so that we, every year we'll, when they get cut down four to five years from now, uh, there'll be another year of trees coming along so that the, the farm will be able to support the dog rescue. Okay. So, so this is not only a, a good community thing now, but they're working towards, you know, being self-sufficient and still continuing to serve the community, which I think is fabulous. So even just a small donation, look around the house, maybe maybe you bought a toy that your dog just wasn't interested in. Um, there's an adorable little gentleman over here rolling around between two balls. Um, he was chewing on those a minute ago. Um, you know, building materials. I know oftentimes when we have a project, we'll buy a couple of extras for just in case because we don't want right. to run back to the hardware store in the middle of a project. So if you have those couple, maybe fence posts or four by fours or something that are laying around in good condition, they can go to a fabulously good use. If there's one thing that, that you're going to tell people or want people to know um, after they've watched this video, that they will be in the back of their mind or that they'll share with somebody else, what is, what is that one thing that you want people to know? Well, for me, it's that the senior dogs just make fantastic companions. Um, I know a lot of people like puppies, but they are they are very loving, they are very loyal, and they're very appreciative of having a second chance. And every dog deserves a second chance. Not, not every dog here is here for a bad reason. A lot of them were in a situation that just couldn't continue, so the owners did the right thing by surrendering them to us so that they could be cared for would like all of them to, to find their own family. I mean, it is wonderful here, they have lots of room to run and play, but I would like every one of them to have their own family. And also I'd like everybody to not forget that on September 20th between 2 and 5 p.m. we're holding um, an open house for the community. You're welcome to come through, we'll have hot dogs and some beverages. You can take a walk around the facility, see how the dogs you know, live, interact. Uh, the different um, things that they can do out here and roaming around. We also have a Chinese auctions that you guys can join in the raffle and hopefully win some prizes. Um, so yeah, please come on out on September 20th. Put that on your calendar. And we will have again the link to their Facebook page down in the comments um, so that you can kind of keep, I guess, up to date as the environment around us right, changes right. regarding um, we, always, we always update with videos of either what we're doing what the dogs are doing yeah right. and and the the open house may may look one way depending on what the, the health situation sure, is of the right. county or the state yes. um, when September rolls around it, it may be a big giant barbecue or yes. it, or it may be kind of like by appointment <laughs> sure sure um, but we but you are updated. here you yes. are here all the all the time pretty much to to at least answer the phone or take a message if, if folks want to come out and oh, get a senior dog. Oh, definitely, yes. All we right. welcome everybody and, you know, since it is me and my husband, you know, here most of the time, just message us. We will make time, set it aside, meet with you, whether it's to surrender a dog, whether it's to answer questions, whether it's to even visit and adopt a dog. We are volunteer. Volunteer also. You can always use people to help play with the dogs. Yes, or, take them for walks. You know, I always appreciate Brush them out. When, we're, when we're constructing new things. Absolutely. So there is one last question that I need to ask, and I usually always ask this. Would you like to do this again? Of course, yes. Yeah. So we will be back out here. We'll be back out visiting the dogs. Maybe next time we'll go see how the Christmas trees are doing because that's exciting. Make sure that you check out the Facebook page. You have you have a website or not yet? Not yet. We're still not yet. It. So if you're a tech person, keep checking because if they don't have a website, they might need you. Right. Um, but they they are here. They're here for the dogs. They're here for the community. So um, help them out as well.
lots of books here to check out. Movies, if you want to see a good dog movie, we've got a couple ready for you to check out. There's books on training, books on dog health, so make sure that you head over to the library and check it out.